hello viewers. If you came here from the subscription list or from Common Room, our sister show on TYTU, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to do the other half of our list of top six tech predictions and what we think will happen in 2013 with them. And first, I'm going to start off with young people threatening to leave social media for good this time. Yeah. So after Instagram had a disastrous terms of service in which they said, we have the right to sell your pictures to advertisers. People mm -hmm. went, oh, I'm leaving, how dare you corrupt my free service? And people have been threatening to leave Facebook and Twitter for a long time. For the same reasons, usually. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. that going to happen? Or are they just kind of like people who threaten to leave America when the candidate they don't want wins? I definitely don't think so. I think it's, it's, it's about as realistic a promise that people make as when you know, they're hungover and they say, I'm never drinking again. Like we're so used to um, social media. Now look, they might leave Facebook or they might leave Instagram, but I don't think that they're ever gonna step fully out of social media again. They're too used to being connected to each other. People like I would love to not have my cell phone on me, but that's just not gonna happen. And also, except when I leave the house and forget. Yeah, and it is part of the entire experience of social media. Mm -hmm. And then you end up sharing with everyone how much you hate sharing with everybody, but that's yeah. still like your status update. I wanna yeah, tell everybody how status. angry I am at Facebook. Mm. I'll get on Facebook. No, no, no. People Tell are liking that. how mad I am at liking. Yeah. Yeah, just say like out your window how much you hate social media and see how many people hear it. No, yeah. it's the real world. Nobody hears it. You need to go online for that <laughs> stuff. Where's my legacy? I don't feel immortal enough. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I, I'll keep hope for 2013 that somebody, that like everybody will revolt against one website. Maybe it'll be Instagram. I don't know. But if everybody actually did leave it, I think it would be so cool to see. You know, it would be like, well, was it like first successful online protest, right? Something like that. Maybe it will just like not be cool anymore. Like, remember how MySpace was awesome, and now it's the abandoned amusement park it. of the internet. It's really sad. <laughs> I went on that website, and there was literally a tumbleweed going yeah. across. You the guys are doubting JT. Justin Timberlake, oh bring, he's bringing sexy back. He's so not bad. To not to MySpace. He's not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm sure. movie, MySpace maybe. is great if you have a band. What's okay, well, our next topic was going to be a Facebook phone. Uh -huh, but you don't think but that. But I think we've done that to death now, so I'm going to switch it up. Okay. Um, so people are saying 3D printers are going to be the next big thing. They were the, the last big thing at last year's CES. I personally love them because you can use them to make a, your own little factory in your house. Right? Yeah, awesome. for sure. You <laughs> for can, sure. No, people are using them for great things, such as um, a man needed a jaw replacement, so they used a 3D printer, printer to make him a replacement jaw. And people have built actually even housing with 3D printers. But the writer of this blog, You Test Stuff, says that it isn't that great and they don't need plastic, useless stuff around their house, which hurts my feelings. I, I think that the, the things that you listed were interesting, but those are things that businesses or hospitals need, not that, that people need. So do you not like, think consumers need this? I mean, can you I mean, you could have one at the Walgreens that I can go down to and use just like a red box. I don't need a red box in my house. I don't, I don't, like it's cool, but it would have to be so cheap for me to buy it. Like you know, it would have to be like an easy bake oven at that point. You know who it's gonna be really useful also, for? Is potheads. Potheads <laughs> should have a 3D printer because they're gonna smoke pot and they'll sit around and be like, man, you know what the world needs? Car spoon. We can make a prototype right now, dude. But then they try to make it so it, much. That would be great. Come it'd on. It'd be a lumpy mess because they wouldn't program it right. Or maybe we all eat it mushrooms. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe you're gonna see it. It's gonna, gonna, it's Alex, gonna come out of the printer. Alex, what is a car spoon? <laughs> <laughs> we just did we that bit. Exactly. That that yeah, I was asking Timmy eh, what it meant. Timmy. I can just imagine how much the DLC is going to cost. You're going to want to download the cool like schematic or whatever, they're but then I'm going to pirate free, it. They're and they're That's shareware the yeah. and open they're source free and it's beautiful. Now. Until they're cool and there's actually people fighting to get the cool stuff. That's when the price tag gets attached. What would be so cool that you way. would pay for it? I don't know, like to d make a little like bust of your own head or something like that. All right, let's talk cool. about what it's really going to be used for, okay? Sex toys. I know where you're yes. going. Yes. <laughs> Sex toys, okay. Totally. So is that acceptable or like we just talked about all these beautiful women, like what if people take a picture of their, they're like, oh, print this out, 3D printer. Like yeah. does Rihanna want a 3D printer? I tried it with my 2D printer. printer. You know what the problem is? <laughs> Paper cuts. <laughs> <laughs> all up and down. And lastly, Google Project Glass, have you heard of Google Glasses? Yes. It's essentially, you put the glasses on and there's an augmented world. Mm -hmm. It's a, like 
you, you're wearing a computer on your face at all times. Mm -hmm. And the prediction is that will start to become more popular and available even in lens crafters. Yeah, that's Is that going to happen? I think it's cool, but I think after a while, it just it feels too much like a science fiction movie where like everyone's got these goggles and you just see that scene where you take them off. And you look <gasps> around and you realize. I can love again. Oh, yeah, exactly. Brett, you could be Jordy <laughs> LaForge, though. I can be Jordy yeah. LaForge. Mm. Why would he wear these? I it have no be... feelings. No, you're not into oh, it? Oh, no, I'm not. That was LeVar, wasn't it? Sorry, I did That was data. reading Rainbow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I did data. Jordy LaForge. Yeah, I could be Jordy LaForge. That's kind of awesome. Yeah, I did buy those cool. at Imaginarium when I was a but kid. But what their prediction is, is that it would be like so popular that it's readily available in a store in the mall. So yeah, I would I say mean, no. I love how, how, in, how, how much confidence they have yeah. in innovation and the timeline on that. But I don't think it's going to happen within this year. Yeah. Do you like think it'll always happen? They're like, oh, this year so much is going to happen. It's like, look I'm at last boys. year. Fuck all happened. It I've took over three. a year to like pick a president. It took two years to do that. <laughs> okay, but That's if it were readily did. available, would you What's go that? for it? As the only person here who wears glasses. Hey. Uh, John and I have both had surgery to Scottish never wear parents. glasses. <laughs> How's the only suddenly Scottish person? Uh, I mean, I already feel separate enough from the rest of you normies that I don't need right. more reasons to not interact or pay attention to you. You can look at us while computing <laughs> and ignoring us. Well, I feel like I could pretend that I'm listening to you while actually reading about something I'm really interested in. Kate and Upton. I feel like my dates would go so much better. I think it seems ridiculous now, but at one point the idea that I have to have a portable computer that I can Google at all times would have seemed ridiculous too. But I whip out my smartphone at every possible opportunity. He I think augment I do. Cuts. Uh, augmented reality, I think, is going to be the next big, big thing. I think people are going to become so used to getting inane information about everything they look at that the idea of not having it is going to seem weird by comparison. Where yes. can they go to see the rest of these tech predictions? Gizmodo. No! <laughs> we prepared channel. for this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman. You can go to see her other predictions. Uh, uh, go ahead. <laughs> you can go on ahead off this wonderful channel back to TYT University, run by John Idarola. <laughs> there you go. There will be an annotation you can click on and you can see the rest of them. We welcome you.